hi what's up guys going to that video we are going to be designing uh you know uh t-shirts in corridor x7 and then we go to uh you know pull this logo in the front of the t-shirt then have the name of the company at the back you know so i'm gonna show you how to uh create a t-shirt you know uh off head in corridor x7 so let's create you know uh what's it called the t-shirt first so without further ado let's step into it the first step is to go over to uh rectangle to create a box just like so good so all you need to do is to just you know uh right click convert to curve so squeeze it a bit so what we need to do right now is to head over to your uh, shape tool so let's shape it up double click right here pull it up a little bit good so what we need to do is to just double click then go ahead and slant this a bit bring this down quite a bit then widen it all up just like so good so right click on this convert to curve then pull it in a little bit good so let's go ahead to the bottom put this down a little bit then go ahead so go ahead and right click on this line convert to curve then pull this you know downward a bit good nice one so what we need that to do now is to create you know hand at first let's go ahead and create a hand you know click on uh free hand two click then you drag down a bit double click double click finish it up right there click once again good so what we are going to do now is to go ahead and create a tip line uh, towards the extreme end of this you know area so all you need to do is to go over and just you know create a box then make that blue so that's like to now then power click that into the object then put out key select the object then release out key and adjust just like so please once once again then put your mouse to the tip of it then rotate good there you have that nice one so our next step right now is to right click on this line go back to your uh, shape tool right click then convert select convert to curve automatically selected then pull it up a little bit then nice one good this down good So what we are going to do is to head over to the slash and uh, let's create an object right here. So what we are going to do is to head over to your shape tool. So hold control key. So we are going to round these edges up. Hold control key then drag it in just like so. Good. Nice one. Keep that color blue then head over and power clip that into place power clip good hold out key select the object then release your out key and adjust just like so good click once again rotate nice one position it so well then let's right click convert to curve then go ahead select your shape to maneuver it just like so good good 
nice one so right now the next step is to go ahead and create you know create an object on top so let's make this blue as well let's power clip that into place then head over to hotkey and give us select or dot hotkey select the uh, object Release your hotkey and I just just like so good nice one so what we're gonna be doing now is to head over and just you know select both together then hold uh point your mouse to the tip of the object just like so An indication of an arrow shows up can you see the arrow so after all of that hold on control key and keyboard then flip to the other side when you get to that side you right click automatically copy paste then let's select both together squeeze it to bits there you have that so we're almost done with what we are doing so right now what we're gonna be doing now is to head over to the top so what we're gonna be doing now is to head over to the top and uh, let's create you know uh, an object just like so at the top that's the color so right now what we needed to do is to make that blue then head over to your what's it called uh, free abrasive tool so right now we are going to create the color right there so let's go ahead create color good click once then go ahead and finish it up right here good so let, let's keep that blue as well so right now what we need to do is to add over to shape tool right click on this line then convert to object convert to curve then let's pull that down a little bit nice one good so make a copy of this color to the other side then adjust this so well just like so good good nice one so right now what we need to do is to head over and just you know let's create white in between that good go ahead finish it up right there then make it white center the back word nice one good so what we're gonna be doing next is to create you know the rest of the color go ahead zoom up then let's go ahead and select our what's it called bezier tool so let's create go ahead create a color just like so finish it up right there let's make that white send the back so right now what we need to do is to just you know so let's go ahead and just you know make a copy to the other side then position it right here send the back so after that what we need to do is to head over and just you know let's create you know uh, a strip uh strap down uh object so let's make that white good let's just finish it up right there so let's convert this convert it to curve right click on the object then you locate you know convert to curves so right now what we're gonna be doing is to just go ahead zoom up double click on the line to add another pull it up just like so towards you know the left hand color so right now double click here then pull it up just like so to join 
this side so what I'm gonna be doing now is to right click convert to curve then let's pull this in likewise this right click convert to curve let's pull it this in a little bit good nice one so what I'm gonna be doing now is to just you know let's create the other stripe down so mind you it's gonna really you know pop in just like so then go ahead select that finish it up right here then go ahead make that white go to paint down so behind that you know uh the other color so let's go ahead and create a button and the question of a button right in there so make this white make this blue then make a copy downward make a copy downward there we have good nice one zoom up so right now the next step right now is to go ahead uh, let's uh, pull this downward So what we are going to do right now is to create a flip over, you know, uh, what they call save the t-shirt, flip to the other side. So let's go ahead and just create something unique right here. Good. Good. So let's make it white. So what I'm gonna be doing is to make you know right from here this will be blue make that blue send it to back there we have that can you see that indication right there nice one good so right now this we are going to create you know the back of the t-shirt so let's make a copy of this to the right hand corner so what we're going to be doing now is to delete all of this delete this delete this then let's go ahead or shift key select the other one then let's wet these two together there you have that so what we're gonna be doing now double click right here to unappear that uh, dot then go ahead make a copy of this flip it to the other side right click or you get to that side automatically let copy paste then pull it right to the uh, left hand corner there you have that good so let's go ahead and delete this then the next step right now is to go ahead and just you know convert this to curve then pull the angle down pull this angle a bit down nice one good good so what we're gonna be doing next is to just create a box so we are going to change that to blue then back clip that into this object the hood key select the object pull it up just like so good nice one so can you see that we actually done with the teacher t-shirt creation so what we are going to do next is to create the logo and put it you know right you know uh the other uh, left and right you know corner of this or better still 
here then we're gonna have the right up at the back right here good so let's save good let's save with us t-shirt shirts brand it's save so let's go over to the logo so as this right now this is what we are recreating this logo is a jpeg file so we gonna we are going to bring it back to life so all we need to do is to just you know click once again then squeeze it a bit then let's go ahead and uh, make it straight a bit so let's go ahead and create the logo so what we need to do is to head over to uh, bridge at 2 let's go ahead and create that nice one it's not nice let's delete let's go over to uh, what's it called rectangle 2 create a box just like so let's go over to your shape to hold control can keyboard run this corner run this corner hop good so make a copy inward right click to copy paste so right now let's head over to the next one create a box just like so then run this corner hop go back to your shape tool run this corner hop then round this corner half a bit then go ahead to the next one which is this so right now what we need to do is to just you know go ahead and make you know drag this inward right click when you get to destination automatically you have that so let's combine so our next step right now is to just go ahead and have a broken line right here good so all shift key select the other one trim then let's delete this up it has to you let's just drag it in to shape on the objects up just like so good nice one let's wet it good so the next step right now is to just create the other C so let's go ahead create an object just like so let's go ahead to uh, shape tool run it run it all up just like so good go ahead make a copy inward good straight back at bit then let's combine so right now we are going to trim this parts up just like so good or she can select the other one trim yeah you have that delete don't delete yet so let's reduce this to fit in right there position it all up good then stretch it down a bit good good so make a copy forward right click and get to destination automatically copy paste and stretch it down a bit good nice one make it cop uh create an object in between then O shift key select uh the tree then wet it all up automatically you have this good so let's go ahead and create you know the he so get an object just like so so what we need that to do is to head over to your shape tool then run it run it all up just like so after all of that let's go ahead to the other one so create an object in the middle then go ahead to your shape tool drag uh round the edges up just like so then let's you know uh combine Ctrl C and keyboard then let's trim trim hold shift key select the object that I created trim then let's delete this so 
let's make a copy downward then move it closer to each other then let's wet it there you have your heat so let's go ahead to the next one which is this create an object just like so after all of that then let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and trim and and uh, round these edges up round the other edges edge up then let's go ahead and create an object in between just like so then go ahead to uh, round it all up so after all of that hold shift key select the other one then you trim automatically you have that trim delete this you don't need that make a copy of this forward there you have that there you have that nice one good so let's wet it together wet there you have your hem good let's zoom down so what we're gonna be doing now is to select all of this wet it all up so all we needed to do is to go ahead make the henna a slightest color color blue so after all of that so all we needed to do is to hit on F12 let's go ahead and make the half line uh, 0 0.3 it's okay good I think that's nice so let's go over and just you know uh, convert outline to object automatically converted then let's make it blue there you have that nice one so let's go ahead to your what's it called ellipse to create perfect circle with that just like so good nice one so let's go ahead to create the map on the inside i just go ahead and create that just like so do what you see right inside the logo mm, go ahead go ahead go ahead finish it up right there so let's make it blue set out lights and none so we're gonna have to make this you know real blue then let's go ahead and uh, convert that to objects then let's go ahead and create you know this line let's make it real blue then go ahead set out line to done then let's wet it let's group it all up set it behind the logo that i created so the last but not the least the, we are going to create all this test so let's go ahead and type in calculator with a uh, test tool so let's reduce that limited limited good bolding that all up so let's reduce make it blue we are blue position it just like so good nice one so let's go ahead and just make a copy of that let's type computer computers then go ahead let's select that let's make that you know uh, times roman so what we're gonna be doing is to make it you know bigger go ahead set out line to blue then let's create a circle just like so so what we're gonna be doing we are going to round this desk up, up with this you know uh run it object so all we need that to do is to go ahead let's you know increase the tracking just like so good so let's go ahead and hold shift key select the circle then you go over to test then select convert uh fit to fit test to parts then let's go ahead and just drag downward to fit in just like so click right here then you click right here automatically you have that shaped up good 
good so let's drag down to fill in just like so I think we need to just you know uh, uh, spread that the bit so so make it longer I bit then go ahead and uh, spread just like so good so right now let's convert to round it all off uh, just like so then put this angle uh, before we do that let's select this then select this automatically it changes the appearance of that then let's drag to position it right there good there you have that so let's go ahead and just you know select the object right here break the support automatically it breaks then let's delete this good there we have the logo created mapped out just like so good so right now what we're going to be doing is to just you know type the name of the company which is uh the the same the same computer computers ltd So let's type the rest of the info so this will be in car in car uh, title case computer accessories 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 office Equipment, equipment, enter stationary, stationary. let's go ahead and just you know make all that blue body in dollar let's change the font to uh, so let's so see it's complicated back in the pieces so let's make this bold mind you let's use in parts so right now make it bigger so let's have the center within nice one so so we're gonna have to have a dot in between all of this create a dot with the help of uh, ellipse to set the outlines and now then let's go ahead and copy forward right click when you get to destination copy downward then to the last end there you have that so let's group this center it all up with it so right now we are done with the logo so let's come up and um, do the placement so go ahead let's have the logo to be here make it bigger a bit then position it so well then let's bring the right up to the back just like so stretch it a bit there you have that group ctrl g then hold shift key select the other one then center it all up good nice one save so here we come to the end story don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the button below subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button so that other people can benefit from what we have shared so far you know so as I always say in my channel see you in the next video bye for now